So I just received my Crypto.com Visa card today and it looks freaking beautiful. I almost regret not going for a higher tier one, but they will likely lower the staking cost next month. And with the CRO prices rising, I might just have to upgrade then. Anyways, in this video, I will be giving you a full tutorial on how to use this card and explain the entire card section in the Crypto.com app. So without any delays, let's get right into it. When you've received and activated your card in the app, you will be presented with this screen. Here you can see your balance available for spending and three options on what to do with said balance. The first one is to top up your card, basically to put some money on it. You can do this either by selling crypto from your wallet, transferring funds from your fiat wallet, or by using a credit or debit card. I have just transferred some funds to my fiat wallet, so I'm gonna go ahead and top up my card from there. If you live in Europe and want to use euro transfers as well, I have a full tutorial on that on my channel, so I will put a little link in the corner for those who are interested. Other than that, I will simply select the amount I want to transfer, 100 euros, and then press top up. Now you can see that I have some balance available on my card that I can simply go ahead and spend like normal. The app does however have some features that can help you with this. The first of which is exchange. This will allow you to convert funds on your card from one currency to another. So let's say I live in the EU but want to travel to the UK. I can simply convert some euros to British pounds in order to avoid exchange fees once I am there. Worth noting as well is that there is no way to transfer funds from your card back to the fiat wallet. Once you have loaded your card, the only way to use the funds is spending them or withdrawing at an ATM. There is however a function that allows you to send money to other people who have the CRO Visa card. You simply import them through your contacts and you can easily send your mate a birthday gift or split the bill after a night out. But if you're like me and don't have any friends, then this is kinda useless. So that's the basic features for topping up and spending with your card. But there are a few more functions that you should be aware of. This timer button for example will show your full transaction history. This way you will always know where your money is going. And you can also press the card icon to freeze your card if it gets stolen or view your pin so you can actually use the card. There's also an option here to enable international usage which allows for the card to be used outside the country you currently live in. This is especially useful if you're planning on making online purchases. You can also get a full rundown on your card's terms and benefits by pressing the full card details button. Anyways guys, that's all you should need to know to get started with your Crypto.com Visa card. I really hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. If you have any questions or corrections, you are more than welcome to leave me a comment. See you in the next video. Until then, have a good one.